Today, I'll be spending more than a million dollars in my beautiful Roblox mini city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Green Town. You all are loving this series. I've seen the comments. I've seen the likes. Thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. But if you want to see another episode, then make sure you press that like button before we continue. In case you forgot, over here, we've got the mighty founder statue. That guy right there is me. Even though he's wearing a red shirt, it's me, okay, promise. In episode one, we built this entire city, including the hills. Oh yeah, this is where all the rich people live. Unless you live on this cliffside, you might almost die. And at the top of the hill, it's quite literally snowy. Look at that, we've got snowy cabins. How cute. Now I've left my account on, and that's why we have more than a million dollars in cash ready to be spent. In the previous episode, we ended with leveling up to level three. And I'm gonna have a look what we can buy. Oh, a coal power plant, <gasps> a high school, small train station, rail yard. Oh my God, this is sick. <laughs> what about over here in the prop section? We unlocked the pyramid, a billboard. Oh, wow. We are gonna be able to build a lot of new cool things. Oh, a factory, <gasps> skyscrapers. Oh my God, this is epic. How do I? I don't want to place it. Now, before I started recording, I made sure to buy some more plots so we can expand this town. Our citizens at the moment seem to be very happy, except for our commercial section. We might have to upgrade that. On the left side of the town, we've got our industry. We've got some windmills, and I'm gonna be honest, it's ugly. Personally, I think it makes a lot of sense to buy a, ooh, solar panels or a coal power plant. Look, it's kind of tight, you know? And who cares about the pollution? There we go. I believe we can now remove some of these windmills because the spinning of them makes me dizzy and uh, I don't like it. We'll offset the climate uh, hazard that this coal is. <laughs> but look, now that I removed the windmills, we still have 100% of the electricity remaining because of our coal plant. Thank you, coal. Now we need to make this city accessible. In the previous episode, we put a bunch of bus stops down, but I think it would be really good to build a train station. Now, where do we put that train station, you might ask? I think we can put multiple. Multiple. But over here, we've got an elementary school, a middle school, and I guess we can be placing a high school somewhere up here. So this kind of looks like the center of town, but there's no better place to put a beautiful train station hmm, right here. There you go. The first of many. <laughs> All right, let's place a rail yard here. And now we got to connect this put blah, blah, with train tracks. Yes. All right. Look at that. That's cool. That's that's really cool. At the moment, there might not be like a huge use for this, but we're going to have to connect parts of the town to our little, um, what, what, what would you call this? College district, because we're going to obviously expand it later. So I think we should, uh, put some more railroad down. Bleep, 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 And already place that second train station. Boom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We are connecting this city, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly incredible. I noticed something else. We have unlocked a tennis court, <gasps> a soccer Field? This is all beautiful. It works so well to have this near our school system. So let's just remove these trees and place a soccer field. Boom. And a tennis court. Kaboom. Wow. And obviously, we got to top that up with the high school. Whoa. Look at that gigantic building. Nice. Now we're going to cover it with some trees for now to make it look a little pretty. But obviously, we have to probably add some more soccer things, some more whatever. But we'll do that in the future. All right. The sun has already gone down, but that's okay. Where are the street lights again? Oh, here. We got to expand our uh, street lamp system. Blip. We need light in front of the train station, guys. And something else that's super important near a train station and near a school is obviously parking. There you go. That's that's some good amount of parking. All right, so now in order to uh, go over the train tracks, I think we might have to build one of these slanted roads. But how do we then... Can we, can we go over? How do we go over that? How do you go over a, a railway road? Wow. Okay, I need to figure that out. Now, we've already spent $50,000. Let's have a look. We need to make sure we put some more uh, jobs down. Now, we've got our school system. We've got our train station. I think this area should be our commercial area. So let's have a look. Commercial buildings. We scroll to level three. Ooh, the medium American shop. Boom. Whoa, look at that. That looks good. That looks really nice. The Great Eastern Hotel. Whoa, okay, now that is beautiful. It makes a lot of sense to have that near the railway station. This is what we call the shopping district, Mega Mart. Oh my God, that sure is mega. Look at that. 
<laughs> it's like a Walmart. The medium Japanese shop? Whoa, look at this. It's like a skyscraper, bro. That looks amazing. Now, because we do have a train station here, I actually want to place some of these taller buildings. What about a classic office? Whoa, look at that. That's amazing. See, an office building obviously doesn't pollute, so this is perfectly fine to have near um, a residential area, which is right over here. This is kind of gonna be downtown, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, that's a weird laugh. I think I have to put some land down to then put a road over. Is that true? That seems a little weird. Look, nope, that doesn't work, of course. Oh no. Okay, it makes a lot more sense if we do it like this. So if you wanna cross this bridge over here, I guess, well, you gotta drive around. But can we go under? Oh, we can, yes, nice. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, you know? Because right over here, we could continue our beautiful industry area. Oh, I have a theory. Because these are level three buildings, do I need level three housing? Oh my God, look at those beautiful modern houses. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, look, that's 200 people living there. What? That's insane. 200 people living in each of these apartments. Oh my God. Now we gotta remember to keep this kind of uh, a little bit pretty. So that's why we're just gonna put some oak trees down. I think I'll focus on keeping things pretty like a little bit later on. I just kind of want to expand my city first and unlock as many things as possible. So therefore, I think we might need to continue our little uh, commercial area. What about a small modern shop? That can go right here. Whoa, wait, can we place things on, on top? Surely we can't, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure that works. I'm gonna delete that. That looks really silly. Look, it's floating above the railway. Okay, look at that. This downtown area really is starting to pop. <laughs> Sorry if I said that weird. I wish we could build tunnels, but we might need more money for that. How have I only spent 110 grand? This is a huge upgrade to the city. We could change the color of the railway. Oh, that looks good. I just found out you can click on each building and see its status. Not enough workers, not enough workers. These are not generating me money, so the commercial sides are struggling. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do something about that. Okay, this is gonna look a little strange, but we're gonna create an intersection here. Boom, chakalaka. Boom. A floating intersection. Apparently it's possible in this game, so that's why we're doing it. Look, we can put a road here now and bring people to this side of the rail. Beautiful. Now these people are gonna live in luxury houses. Oh yeah, no, they're gonna be working for our shops. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Level two or three housing. Should, should we do, ooh, medium American house? I think we need more apartments though. Let's do a couple of apartment blocks and some houses. Wow, look at that. <laughs> nice. We now have two and a half thousand people living here. How did I do that? Okay, they need some lighting, I think. They need some lighting. Yeah, it's really, really dark here. Are we doing it with electricity though? It looks fine, right? Look at that. Wow, this is really starting to look like a proper city now. Although I wish we could connect this. You see, it's kind of weird. There's a there's a rail track there. Can I not just place a road on top of that? Nope. Nope. Is there like, um, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. I thought maybe, oh, look at these though. Medium road with grass. This is for the fancy neighborhood, which, uh, yeah, we still gotta, we still gotta kind of find out where that's gonna be. So how are the shops doing now? If I press on them, they still complain that they don't have enough workers. I don't really understand. Ooh, okay. Uh, sweet. We can literally change all the colors. I, I actually had no idea. What? Every single building? Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Green town. Literally. I don't know why they don't have enough workers. Um, is it because they are, no, well, they're just unemployed. Okay, maybe they'll find the job soon. Look, there's plenty of cars driving around, so surely, surely this is working, you know? Oh, and our downtown district, it's looking good. So to upgrade to level four, we need 2,780 more citizens. Now, because the offices don't have enough work, I don't know if I even should do this, but I kind of feel like expanding our industrial area, which by the way is really ugly. Like it's really ugly. I want to make it a little bit prettier. So this right here is going to be a little dirt road. Look at that with some grain silos, a little barn and an old house. Ooh, look at that. Place that one a little bit further back, just for design reasons. It is the country road over here. It is the country road. Look at that. That looks kind of cool. And you know what? We'll even fence this with a good old wooden fence. You know, keeping the uh, keeping the creeps away from us. No one's allowed to get on my property. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I wish we could have water. I don't see an option to create lakes or anything. Little farm district, nice. I'm really having a hard time spending my money. I'm making more than spending at the moment. So uh, I think it's time we step up the notch a little bit. But you know, I also want things to look pretty. So it is kind of difficult. There we go, look at that. 
A little bit of decoration. Now, I don't actually know if we have like an industrial railway. I don't think we do, but we'll kind of pretend we do. <laughs> In my mind, it's kind of natural. I'm a natural, what can I say? Oh, we'll just place some office buildings here, some other type of industry, some warehousing, a medium Japanese factory. There you go, look at that. Perfect, 2,300 citizen. I, I can't get the commercial numbers up. I don't know what my issue is. These guys simply don't have enough workers. Do I need more housing? I, I guess, you see, 160 residents live in here and 100% are employed. So I guess we're just gonna up the housing. I can change all the colors and stuff later, but yeah, we're gonna up the housing. And you know what? We're doing apartments. We're doing European style here. All right, we're, uh, we're just pumping out apartments. <laughs> It looks terrible. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Look at those residency numbers. 4,500, 4,700. Whoa, look how many people live here. <laughs> All right, not the prettiest neighborhood, but it's okay. They can move to the hills once they make it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. 4,700. I feel like we can we can put some more housing down. Should we, you know what? Should we make another little pretty area? I guess we could do that over here. Because we've got the hills. We've got the farm. Oh, we can make some more hills. How about that? How about that? And then on, on those new hills, on those new hills, we'll uh, put the rich people. And this railway will go underneath of it. That's genius. That There's nothing more genius than that. All right. So let me grab the grass cells. There we go. Just start placing down some hills. I'm not sure I'm going to make all of these snowy though. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. And here... It just continues. How amazing. There you have it. The Hills 2.0. <laughs> so we've got like a number one section here and the number two section. I've already placed the solar panels down. I thought, you know, these people, they need their own electricity. They, they don't want enough from a coal plant because they, because they, they expensive like that. Okay. Now housing, huh? Oh yes. Okay. So it's not going to be like densely, densely populated, but you know, we'll, we'll have some people living there. As you can see, I've been messing around with textures as well. So the texture looks a little bit different on this one. I don't know if I like it yet, to be honest. Look at all them rich people, man. Bruh. Do we have any more houses? Should we do some small suburbans as well? Nah. Large suburban. Oh yes, boys. Oh God. Yo, they live in the good life there on the hills, eh? We almost have 5,000 people living in our beautiful little town. Look at that. The hills. Oh. <laughs> All right, we still have to decorate it with some trees and stuff, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, in a way, maybe they don't want to live that far away from, like, the school system, which is over here. You know what? We're not going to put a school here, but we can put, like, a soccer field up here. How about that? Can we do that somewhere? Do I still have space? Or should we just do it down the hill? Yeah, I don't know. A difficult one. We'll make a little tennis club over here. Isn't that something that they do? Them rich people? A little tennis club area. That's cool. And we'll put some fencing around it. I don't know why, but it just feels right. Hey. Hidden away from the public, our beautiful tennis club. Join now for only $1,000 a month. You can have really good food. You know what? I actually kind of like this. It looks really good. Will you sign up to my tennis club, guys? <laughs> I mean, it's just down the hill. It's, it's a little tennis club. Uh, it's pretty cool. We got a train station here too. Okay, we just need 200 more people. How are we doing? We still only have 50% commercial rates, which I don't understand. Maybe the comments can help me there. I think... Um, we're gonna have some more people moving into our farm industry. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna put like more densely populated apartment buildings. I think we need a farm here. So we'll put a barn uh, like that. We'll put a couple of grain uh, things, yeah? And then the rest, residential farming houses. What, the double shotgun house? What about um, modern American? That could be a farmhouse too, right? Sure, why not? A large suburban? Nah, I don't know. A large suburban doesn't really fit in there, but we'll leave it. <laughs> okay, 4.9k. 4.9k. We're almost there, boys. Put some wheat fields down. This is the farm area, remember? Wow, look at that. that that's actually really good looking. This looks great. What a beautiful area. And I don't think the tennis club minds being next to a farm area. Oh, look at that. String lights for our tennis club. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful town we got. We need 100 more people. Where are we going to put them? I think it's just one of these buildings, isn't it? One of the big ones. If we just put one down, we'll uh, we'll hit the mark. Where do we have space? Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, are we level five or level four? Yes. Oh my God, look at the buildings we unlocked. CN Tower, more huge offices, large fa factories. Oh, the Empire State Building. Oh my goody goodness. Highway signs. Does that mean we unlocked a highway now? Oh wow, this city's starting up. Oh, look at all these new items. <gasps> An airport. 
airport! Oh, finally, slanted train tracks. That's really what I was looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, all of that and more in City Skylines. No, what? Roblox Mini Cities, Episode 3. Press the like button.